My name is Liz and welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have done anything photography related. And so this week I wanted to share with you four really easy tips on how to level up your photography game, how to take your boring photos and make them exciting, compelling photos. So if you're interested in hearing these tips, then just keep watching this video. All right guys, so for many who don't know, I used to be a published editorial photographer. I'm really proud of the work that I have done in the past, and since I've been managing my daughter full time, I no longer shoot for magazines. However, I still shoot personal content for various brands, for my Instagram account, and I also shoot content for my vintage jewelry business, both that I will link right here. And so I wanted to share these tips with you in hopes to help you guys who are either an amateur in photography or you are an Instagrammer and you're just struggling on how to improve your content or you may run a small business and just want to level up your um, photography for your website. So in any case, I hope that these tips will serve you well. I hope that you will make them useful. And so let's get on with this. I'm a huge fan of window lighting. Window lighting is my all time fave. I honestly do not shoot with anything else other than natural lighting. There's something just so magical about the light that comes through a big open window. It really adds so much dimension um, and so much detail that you can pick up with the highlights and the shadows. It also tends to really make your images look that much more um, expensive, moodier, um, so many adjectives you can add in there, but I, I just really love it. Let's talk about angles. I want to show you to think out of the box when you are taking a photo. So for instance, normally we just see something nice and we take our camera or our phones out and we just shoot. Now let's level it up a little bit and say, well, let's move to the left or let's move to the right. Let's see how interesting the photo can become if you just really think about how you can change the perspective of that photo. So for instance, I personally love to use like step stools or ladders and I love to change my vantage point of what I'm trying to shoot. So if I am out on location, rather than shooting something straight on, I aim to shoot something that perhaps most people wouldn't think about shooting. I tend to pick a favorite side. I tend to maybe hold my camera up and over. I maybe hold my camera down low and tilt it back. And so I sort of play with the perspective of either my body, sometimes I do a lot of leaning. It's kind of like a whole dance when I'm shooting. So I'm either on the floor, I'm up on my toes, I'm, I'm leaning sideways, and I'm also doing the same thing with my camera. So that is going to help you guys really develop some interesting photos. If you play with your camera, if you have a zoom lens and zoom in, zoom out, you know, change and rotate your camera as so, and you're going to get really interesting pictures. If you are an Instagrammer, if you're a blogger, or even if you are working on a website, you may want to consider framing the objects that you're shooting to fill your screen. Okay, so I'm screen recording. So the what you need to keep in mind is that you are filling the screen with the whole image. All right, so here is my table and I want to take into consideration of filling this whole screen. Okay, it's best like I'm doing this with one hand, guys, so bear with me. And I have random things here, so it's not gonna make sense, but it's just for demonstration purposes. I have a vase here. Okay. I have, let's say, a book. A book here. And let's sort of rearrange this so that this sort of makes sense. And that's actually not bad. Do you see how there's an object here, there's a book here and there's a book there. Um, I mean, we can move this out of the way. But I filled the frame to tell a story. 
And honestly, you can really rearrange this as you know, as you wish, whatever, you know, whatever floats your boat. Um, and just really either pull in and really get all that detail, rotate your camera like so, and really try to play with that. And again, I'm using this with my iPhone 11. Now, someone like myself who's a little bit more of a minimalist, I love negative space. So therefore you wanna take your main object, the star of what you're trying to, um, of what you want to show off and put that either right at the center and pull way back on the frame. But, so that's what I love to do. I personally love negative space. I'm a huge fan of negative space and I, that's how I shoot a lot of my minimalistic portraits. This is my last tip to re, and I feel like this tip is the one that really sort of like takes it home. I feel like this is the tip that I mean, if you can think out of the box, then this tip is gonna be easy breezy, and that is shooting through objects. So, I would just take random things, for instance, I would take flowers, I would take gemstones, you know, prisms, I would take um, paper. If there was nothing around me, I would look around me and I would pick up leaves, anything that was around me that I can take either my camera, my, my cell phone, or my DSLR, and I would put it close to the lens and shoot right through it so that it creates this beautiful sort of, in either a vignette or a, if I was shooting a picture of a person, I would take like a flower or I would take a piece of tissue or whatever I had on hand and I would put it really close to my lens and let that object sort of diffuse and create a vignette around that subject. And I really love that look. I feel like that is really le leveling up your photography when you can think out of the box and do things that other people aren't doing. I mean, a lot of people are doing it, don't get me wrong. But if you are newer, you know, and you wanna advance in your photography a little bit quicker, then taking these tips will definitely aid in really helping you look a little bit more professional. We always have posts to think about, and that's gonna be a whole nother a whole nother video because photography is a really broad subject and so there's so much that goes into photography but i'm just gonna leave these four tips for now i will do an updated video on how i edit my photos in another video down the road so make sure that you stay tuned that you are subscribed to my channel that the post notification little bell is on so you're notified every time i post a video so i want to thank you guys for watching this week Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video soon.